Hey friends. So I wanted to take a few minutes today to talk to you guys about rest. Um, this week has been pretty hard for me for regular work and it's uh, been pretty stressful trying to eat, uh, trying to work out, trying to do what I need to do. Um, keep up with you guys and make sure you get the information you need from me, you know, help answer your questions. And I realized I was overdoing it. I was extremely tired, you know, just worn out mentally, just over everything that I was doing um, and losing any motivation that I had. So I wanted to help you guys try and recognize those, those signs. That way you know when it's appropriate to rest and that it's okay to rest when you're, you're going hard or, or trying to achieve any kind of goal, whether it's a work goal or whether it's a fitness goal or whether it's just the goal of sitting down with your kids at dinner. It doesn't matter. A lot of this can take, take tolls on you. So the signs you might want to look for are if you're normally tired, but you can get through the day without completely struggling and suddenly you're struggling every second of every day just to get through it, that's fatigue and that's not normal for you. You know, what's tired for one person may not be tired for another. You know, you might get six hours, they might get eight. You know, it, it doesn't matter. It's what's different for you. It's what's normal for you. If you suddenly get your six or seven hours of sleep or even your four hours of sleep and you just can't function like you normally do, that's a sign that you might be overdoing it. Injuries. <laughs> Injuries are another one that can be a sign of overuse, um, whether you're using a particular joint too much, like your knees or your shoulders, which are involved in a lot of things, or you just do something and you don't move the same way and, and you don't use the right form and suddenly you pull a muscle or suddenly you twist an ankle or suddenly you, you know, your face falls on the table because you're so tired and you fall right into your soup. It, you know, it doesn't matter. There's injuries that can occur anywhere. And lastly, just your mental fatigue. Uh, not only does your body get tired and not only does your body get injured, but your, your mind can get very tired and you can lose motivation very quickly. Motivation is one of the biggest things that keeps people going for, for a goal. You know, you're motivated, you're headstrong, you're determined. But when you overdo it, when you're too super hyper focused on something and you forget everything else or you're exercising too much or you're thinking too much, you can burn out and your brain can basically tell you, no, I don't want to do this anymore. And it can shut down and you can lose that motivation. When you get to that point, it, it's not hard to, um, well, it is hard. It's hard to sit down and step back and say, okay, I'm going to rest. But it is very okay to rest. I've taken pretty much this entire week because it's started to happen to me, you know, couldn't, eat very well, couldn't uh, exercise very well, everything just hurt. So I took took some time and, and I'm going to pick things back up this weekend. And that's that's what I want to stress to you guys is that it's, it's perfectly okay to take a week, to take two weeks, um, as long as you are working on fixing those stressors, as long as you're working on fixing that overuse or, or – that fatigue, you know, get some sleep, do some things to, to get your mind off of what you were doing and reset. You know, sometimes people get so focused on what they're doing, they forget and they, they just overdo it. You know, they burn out too quickly. We don't want you to burn out too quickly. We want you to be successful. So take time, take rest, sleep, enjoy a nice walk. Walking is, is great. Walking is a great stress relief. Um, spend time with your family and don't be afraid to relax. So with that said, I'm going to go relax a little bit more. You guys take care and we'll see you in a little bit.